few months ago, William Schneider Jr. arrived at the Caps Media Center with an absolute treasure trove of Ventura history. Bill's father, William Schneider Sr., was a highly respected teacher throughout Ventura. For years, his hobby was recording on camera interviews and family histories with fascinating people all over the county. Recently, his son, Bill Jr., gathered together more than 100 tapes from his father's archives and working here at the Caps Media Center has painstakingly restored these treasures. Bill's new series, called My Father's Stories, explores some of the very early days of Ventura County. Most of the videos were recorded 20 to 30 years ago. The people, places, and stories Bill shares are part of Ventura's rich history. Welcome to My Father's Stories. Bill, whose story are we going to hear today? Today we're going to talk about Terry Chafee and Terry Chafee family. Uh, Terry is a historian for the Chafee family, and it's amazing how he's put together the chronological development of the family. Walter Scott Chafee was born in 1835 in Madison County, New York, and then in 1861 Walter came to California in a covered wagon. And he finally settled in Ventura, uh, and he only had 10 cents in his pocket upon his arrival. And the family has been here ever since, and they probably have over 200 descendants. It's amazing. They started the first department store in downtown Ventura, right next to the Mission. And in a couple years later, they opened the Chafee store on Palm and Main Street. The building is gone and was replaced by the Ventura department store. And that building was subsequently torn down, and now the American Commercial Bank sits there today. Walter also was the first mayor of Ventura when it first incorporated. And Walter, unlike his descendants, stayed mainly as a merchant in Ventura. Very cool. Let's see the story. Yes. Well, I'm sitting in my favorite restaurant, and you'll find me here at 9 o'clock every weekday morning. But you know, when you get to be my age, and you've lived pretty much your whole life in the same community, you tend to spend time reflecting and remembering. Landmarks in the area bring back memories, some good, some not so good. And people, neighbors, teammates, friends, these are my favorite reflections. Just a few months ago, I needed to call Bill Temple. Bill is a retired highway patrolman, and he lives up in Northern California. But he was raised right here in Satakoy and lived up on Jasmine, which is right across the Satakoy Grammar School. I don't remember why I called Bill, <laughs> Bill now, but I do remember that Bill's mother was a chafee. And then, upon some more reflections, just up the street, about a half a block, there was a Mrs. Harry Garman. She had been a chafing, too. And then, right here in this very restaurant, a young fella came up to me one day, and his name was Scott Chafee. Right in this very restaurant. He said, you know, you need to find a fellow to help you out with some history in Ventura County. You need to look up a guy by the name of Terry Chafee. Well, would you believe I found Terry up in Ojai, and I had known his father, I had known his grandfather even. And we're very fortunate today to have Terry with us all the way from Carlsbad. Terry, how are you? doing fine. You're looking well. Thank you. You too. Yeah. Terry's got quite a project, believe me. And I thought I told him to stick it up there and it'll seat up there, but don't, don't worry. You've been working on this Chafee family of yours for how many years now, Terry? Uh, it's going on about uh, 10 years now. 10 Bill. years? Yeah. And you have brought along, is this all of the works here in these three big books? Uh, a pretty, lot of it pretty much. on print, yeah. Mo a lot of it I have on computer. Now, we talked about how many descendants this man Chafee had. Can you give me just a rough idea? Well, uh, there's a, since Walter came to Ventura in 1861, 
uh, six generations worth, uh, I, I'd probably say at, at least a, a couple hundred. At least 200? At least. At least 200. Now that, I'm going to give that assignment to you to find out how many actually there are. Okay. Okay. That's just not chafies, that's counting oh, other sure. yeah, people but that have married into the chafies. They've married into them, sure. Now, you said Walter. Walter Scott. Let's hear about Walter Scott. Can you tell us his story? Well, uh, Walter Scott was my great-great-grandfather, and uh, he was born in 1835 in Madison County, New York. And uh, right around 1861, he decided to come out to uh, California. And um, he got here between 1861 and 1862, and from what I hear, he only had basically 10 cents in his pocket. <laughs> He came in a covered wagon with a man named Norwalk and uh, ended up coming to Ventura and he uh, started the first department store in Ventura. Oh, what street was that? Where would that be? Well, when he first, his first store was uh, right next door to where the mission is right now. Okay. And uh, within a couple of years, he had moved down the street a block or two, and uh, it became uh, the Chafee store that was on the corner of Palm and Main. And, and uh, the building is gone now. The building is gone now. Now, what's, yes. what's replaced it? Uh, the Ventura Department Store was there for years, and then that store was taken down and now there's a bank there, American Commercial Bank. American Commercial, yeah. Yes. Now, when he arrived, wasn't that about the time that this town of Ventura was getting organized? Well, San Buenaventura was incorporated in 1866, and that's when he was appointed by the state uh, to the first board of trustees. So, uh, technically speaking, he was became the first mayor of Ventura. There's a new, newcomer landed in town with 10 cents and now he's mayor. Right. He does rather well. He did. He did. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ventura, the county, did not become in, officially incorporated until 1873. That's when it officially separated from Santa Barbara yeah. County. Got out of that, yeah. Right. Um, he uh, erected the first wooden framed building, his house. And he had the lumber shipped down from uh, up north, and they brought the lumber uh, from Santa Barbara. Now, locally, we didn't have too much lumber around here to build houses. Where'd all that come from? Uh, the lumber originated from the San Francisco area, and it was shipped down to Santa Barbara. From Santa Barbara, they brought it along the coast. And uh, as you would think, there was no highway no or road. road. No. <laughs> So they would have to bring it up during high t uh, low, low tide. Low tide, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So it took a little while to get it up here. Where was that built, Terry? Um, it was on where is now Ventura Avenue. Yeah. It was approximately a couple blocks up from where the corner of uh, Main Street and Ventura Avenue are. Okay, and I think we have a picture of that. Don't yes, we? Okay. we do. We'll we'll get that. Okay. Now. What kind of, he had, to, he had to have some kind of an income here. The 10 cents, he couldn't invest that and get too far in Ventura, even in those days. What did he do for a living? Well, when he first got out there, uh, out here, he, um, he worked out in uh, Sami, and uh, he worked on Moore's Ranch. He uh, was farming and raising cattle, sheep, pigs. Um, and you said Moore's Ranch, is that T or Tom, M -O Tom exactly. M O R E? Yes, exactly. I, the guy that was shot? I don't know about that. Yeah, I think he had a rough ending. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, but that, that was the same Moore, Thomas yeah. Moore. Yeah. And uh, from then he just kept uh, working. He, uh, Walter owned a, a, a lumber yard which happened to be down the street from the mission. Um, it, actually, it was one of the first lumber yards in, in Ventura. He, he was pretty much uh, 
in, into a, a little bit of this and a little yeah. bit of that. Yeah. But he, he mainly stayed being a merchant. That's what he ended up being. Retail, Retail merchant. Well, that was that was uh, a good guess for him. Yeah. Because there's sure not, not much wood around here in the way of trees. Right. And he wasn't by himself. I mean, he, he started the store with one person. Yeah. And then at, when he moved down the street to the corner of Palm and Main, he, he had a couple of partners. Yeah. Now, and he was one of the original incorporators of the Bank of Ventura also. Oh, really? Yes. And he had a real estate company, and his sons worked there. And uh, so he, he, he was pretty much into a, a, a lot of different things. He was responsible for a lot of growth in town. Yes, too. he was. Yes, yeah. he was. You know, when I think of the Chafees, there are two Chafees come to mind right away. They're both athletes. You remember who I'm talking about? Yes. Uh, probably the most famous one would be Nancy Nan Ann Chafee. Yeah. Kiner. Kiner, yeah. Yeah, she married Ralph Kiner of the Pittsburgh Pirates in yeah. the 50s. Uh, Nancy... Uh, when she uh, retired from tennis in the in the fifties, about nineteen fifty five, she was ranked number four in the world. In the world. In the world. Yeah. Yes. On the hard court singles. Yeah. Yeah. Her pappy was her instructor for several years here in Ventura. He was the first one to teach me how to play too. Yeah. Oh, well, really? A lot of people got taught by Harold Chafee. Yeah, Harold was great too. He, he was. Uh, I'd, I'd see him almost every day when I was at JC. Uh, the other Chafee was uh, Harold, I mean, uh, Howard, Howard Davison Chafee, and he was a swimmer. Um, he uh, was uh, mainly known as a lifeguard, but he uh, did try to swim from uh, Catalina to the coast. There was a contest going on by Wrigley's. Mr. Wrigley, who owned Catalina at the time, I think the purse was uh, $50,000 or something of yeah. that nature, and he tried swimming all the way from Catalina to the coast. He didn't make it. They had to fish him out of hyperthermia, but he, at least he tried. He gave her a shot. He gave her a shot. <laughs> Pretty cold water. Yeah, that is. People don't realize how cold that is out there. Okay, let's see. Um... Now, Walter's family, you said, worked for him. What happened after Walter passed to the family? Uh, well, uh, one of his sons went out to Visalia area, and uh, he worked out there, and his family stayed out there. Uh, the rest of the sons, one of the sons took over the store, and his name was Leslie. His real name was Arthur, but he went by Leslie went by Chafee, Leslie, yeah. right? And he, he kept the store going till 1929, till he passed away. Uh, there was another son, they called him Hyde, John Hyde Chafee. Uh, he was in, involved in the real estate and the bank, and uh, that was Howard's father. Yeah. And Wallace's father. Wallace was the boy who got killed the day before armistice in oh, World War I. Oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. And there's uh, the VFW. VFW had something for him. Named the chapter after him. They named yeah. yeah. Post number one six seven nine is named after Wallace. Yeah. Yeah. I remember the name Fay. Now, where does he fit in? Yeah, Clarence Fay. He was a son of uh, Walter's first son, W. S. His name, real name was Walter Scott Jr., but he always went by W.S. That was one of the sons of, uh, of Walter Scott Jr., Clarence Fay. They always called him Fay. I remember him because he, he ran a small boat or a, out of Ventura. Exactly. Yeah. He, he, he did a lot of uh, uh, taking people out to the islands and fishing, uh, but uh, he... Uh, was one of the last, uh, had one of the last leases to San Miguel Island. I think the leases were up in the 30s, and that was the last anybody ever got uh, yeah. a, a lease was Clarence Fay. Yeah. Uh, okay, now we're down to about, what's that, the third generation? How about the next generation? Do we have, we have anyone here in Ventura at this time? 
Uh, they all moved to Ojai. <laughs> well, my, my dad's up there. My uncle lives in Satakoy. Um, they were the only two sons of my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather's siblings, they're all passed away now. Um, now, that you mentioned the one that lives here in Satakoy. That is uh, That's Grant? Grant Chafee. Now, I knew Grant and your dad, Art, as boys, and they lived across the, across the Santa Clara River. Exactly. And farmed over there on exactly. uh, Santa Clara Avenue. Right across the street from, it, it used to be, uh, it's called Southern Pacific Sod, yeah. but uh, Tobias Grether yeah, Tob owned, owned that. Yeah. And that was uh, the, the start of Pacific Sod. Yeah. I remember um, that. The, remember they told to, Yeah, he, he was the one who basically started the the big uh, lawn operation yeah. with sod. Now I saw an old paper, newspaper clipping too with uh, the, uh, Grant's picture in there. He was a marine. Yes, he was uh, a marine, a corpsman, mm -hmm. um, stationed. He ended up <clears throat> going to Iwo Jima. And uh, he was wounded in uh, either Tinian or Saipan, received the Purple Heart. And uh, my dad was stationed in Hawaii because he, he, one of his eyes wasn't so good. Yeah. So he was a machinist mate and he rebuilt airplane engines. I know about that. Yeah. Having bad eyes. <laughs> yeah. He really enjoyed doing that. Though, yeah. Re rebuilding yeah. those airplane engines, yeah. fighter, fighter plane engines. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to work on you now, Terry. Yeah. Because you have, this project is unbelievable. You've been at it for 10 years. Yeah. And, and you do this mainly through computers? I use a computer for my database. Database. And I use a computer because I use genealogical sites to look up my information. You find these at, on, uh, what do you call them? Uh, one of the sites I use is Ancestry.com, and I, I find information, but that doesn't give you, like, information on the intimate stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the intimate stuff, I've gone to the library, I've gone to the historical society, and, uh, or talk to people yeah, and yeah. see what, what I can glean out of their memories, yeah. and that's in short supply right now. Yeah. People that... They're going fast, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. I'm they working are. on my 70th high school <clears throat> excuse me, reunion, and they're going fast. They're going <laughs> fast. Yep. <laughs> yep. <That'll, clears throat> what do you have ahead of you now in this? Are you, do you have a, a well, particular item or <laughs> section of the family you're searching? Besides the chafees, I'm doing my mom's side. Ah. So, between my mom and my dad on their sides, I, I have over 5,000 entries in my database. This was the number I was looking for, <laughs> 5,000. There's at least 5,000, over 5,000 people between my mom and dad, uh, people that have been uh, yeah. uh, indirectly or directly yeah. influenced in, within yeah. my family. It's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. And this keep this is about a forty hour a week, isn't it? Oh, just uh, thirty to forty. Yeah. Yeah. It just keeps growing. Just keep getting more information. I get contacted by people online that say that they're cousins of mine all over the United States. Yeah. All over the United States. Well, this is something I won't recommend it for every family, but I certainly hope that people watching will write, save their pictures for their kids. Oh, yeah. For their kids, yeah. It's, it's one crazy. of the biggest things is writing down who those people are in the pictures. I have all these pictures, and no, there's uh, no, there's no, no, no names on them. I ran across an envelope full of pictures the other day, and each one had all the names on the back. And That's that, great. You rarely find that. Rarely find well, with computers, it's different now. You can... You know, as long as you keep stuff on computers and back up your data, yeah. that's that's a better way even than even writing the stuff down because the pictures dissipate uh, over time. You, you touch them, the oils from your hands ruin the pictures. Ruin the, pictures. The, the handwriting, if you write it in pencil, that dissipates too. And the ink goes through it sometimes. And exactly, exactly. So it's really a good idea to keep a track if you're interested. Yeah. In keep, 
you know, having your family know about what went on, what, what, the roots, yeah. where your roots. You know, one of these descendants here of the family would be Wallace. My third cousin. Your third cousin. Yes. Can you give us a little history on Wallace? The one that, of your family that I'd like to hear a little more about would be Wallace. My third cousin. World War One. Yes. He died the day before Armistice Day. He, uh, he graduated from uh, Ventura High School in 1912, and uh, all I can really find out about him is that he was into track, he was into drama, and uh, he did some architecture. Uh, what I think that he did is that uh, uh, before he joined the Marines, he uh, probably worked for his father at the Bank of Ventura, and probably was a clerk, or he could have worked at the Chafee Estate uh, Company too. Yeah. But he did join in, in San Diego. He was a Marine. Yes, he joined the okay. Marine Corps. Um, he uh, was stationed at Lemon Grove, and uh, one year after he enlisted, his uh, outfit arrived in uh, France. He was in the 23rd Company, Company B, of the 6th Marine Gun Battalion, 6th Marine Regiment, 2nd Marine Division. He was in France from, uh, let's see, right around August to uh, November uh, when he was killed. He was killed in the Argonne and uh, unfortunately it was the day before Armistice was signed. Yeah, yeah. And his parents uh, waited till 1921 Fortunately, there was coordinates written down to where his body was, uh, and they brought his body back in 1921, and there was a, a big funeral for him, and he uh, was buried at Ivy Lawn Cemetery. Uh, so they, they took the trouble to bring him back. Now, the other Marine in the family got by all right. That's... Yeah, he got wounded, but... Yeah, yeah. he got through it. He... Okay, the other one I'd like to know a little more about is Nancy. Uh -huh. She... Nancy's probably one the, of the most the famous, most famous. Oh, yeah. besides yeah. Walter. Yeah. Um, she was uh, an avid tennis player from a very young age. Yeah. Harold taught her. Uh, she went to St. Catherine's Academy, which was a private uh, Catholic, Catholic school in yeah. Ventura. And she went to the University of Southern California. That's a good school. <laughs> she, in 1947, she, uh, she captured the U.S. Tennis Association National Junior Grass Court Championship in 1947. Uh, she won 14 national titles. Um, from 1950 to 52, this included the indoor women's singles titles. Um, she even uh, won over Althea Gibson. Yeah, she was the that one. Was the, but one of her best friends was a girl named Maureen Conley. They called her Little Mo. Little Mo. Little Mo. Yeah, little and uh, they were really good friends. Really good friends. In fact, Nancy helped direct with the direction of the movie when they, they made a movie about Little Mo. Little Mo, yeah. Yeah. Um, she did uh, retire in 56. Um, she had been married for five years to a, a, a Ralph Kiner. The old baseball player. Yeah, Mr. Home. Mr. Home Run. Yeah. Um, they, they were married in 51, and uh, they have uh, three children. Really? And uh, one lives in San Diego, and the other two live in Palm Springs. And uh, she was uh, a great teacher. She taught many, many, many people, just like her dad did, yeah. in uh, Palm Springs and Indian Wells, that area down there. And uh, uh, now, are, are any of her kids <clears throat> playing, uh, playing no, amateur? No, no, no uh, her daughter is married to a golf pro, and the two sons, one, uh, one is an architecture, uh, a, yeah. He's into architecture. The other one, he's into uh, sales 
and he did work for ESPN for a number of years, but okay. he's into uh, sales now. I think uh, has to do with radio, I, I, I think, or sports, yeah. Yeah. sports sales. Yeah. She's she's married to an ex-broadcast. Uh, she was married to an ex-broadcast uh, commentator named Jack Whitaker. And, yeah, and he's still alive. Yeah, and. Uh, he, he was very heartbroken when, because they, they'd been life, I mean, friends for a very long time. Yeah. So. Terry, this has been just real interesting to me, and I can see the hard work that has gone into this. I'm just trying to find a few people of the grad, I graduated with uh, 70 years ago. I can imagine, you, you said 5,000 people. <laughs> So good to see you. Thanks for coming up. Oh, it's my pleasure. My Take, pleasure. Take care. Thanks a lot. Take care. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. You too. Thank you.